Hi guys, this is Dave from Dave's Vintage Apple Tech and we got the replacement cells for our battery pack. So now we can continue restoring this battery pack to its former glory days and uh, if you haven't been watching the first two episodes uh, go back and watch them so that way you'll see everything play by play from the beginning to where we are right now. So I just got these uh, actually uh, today and um, these are basically direct re replacements for these guys. You see they, they have the, the same coloring here, obviously a little newer, but they're the same thing. And so anyway what we do is we're going to have to attach these two cells together. These are 1.2 volts and when you tie them together it'll make 2.4 volts and we'll have four banks of these and that'll make our 9.6 volts and that's what's required to power our 1400 CS uh, power book and we're going to uh, do that here just shortly and uh, we'll be back in uh, 10 seconds Okay, so like I said, what we're going to do is we're going to attach these together and um, I will show you actually on the meter here, uh, let me just zoom in here. So this is the uh, plus side, that's the minus side and uh, we're going to take our volt ohm meter here and we'll turn it on here so you can see here. and. Uh, going to put on the minus and plus and you can see it's 1.3 volts there's no load on it so when it gets loaded it'll be down to 1.2 volts and you see we're, we're good if we reverse the polarity then you will see that minus sign so that's uh, that means that the negative is on the plus lead so we're gonna go like that okay and then when we hook the other two volt, the other 1.2 volt battery up, then that's going to give us our 2.4 volt. Or actually, be about 2.5, 2.6 unloaded. But when it's loaded, it'll bring it down. These are 3,800 milliamp, just like the originals. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go through and we're going to we're going to build these. Um, let me move the meter out of the way here. We're going to start building these here. And uh, so, kind of what we'll do is we'll go by a side by side comparison here. And uh, uh, what I'm going to do uh, to attach these uh, tabs here, I ordered them with the tabs on them. It would be a lot easier to work with. We can always snip them off if we have to. But when we join the batteries together, we're not going to just solder them up like that we're going to actually uh, connect the tabs up and uh, we'll solder the tabs and uh, that way uh, we can butt them up real close because we gotta we have to uh, keep these as close as we can together so it will fit back into our case here there's just a little room for wiggle room but not much but they are the same length and uh, that's good and they are the same diameter and which is about three quarters of an inch so yeah so all right so uh, we're gonna get set up here and uh, I'll be back in just a minute all right so we have been working on one of these uh, two of these cells putting them together and uh, you notice uh, we've got the uh, tabs on this side this is the plus this is the negative and we had to join these two together now one thing about these cells aren't I already found it out I did it off camera but if you there's a reason why you have this uh, coating on here this insulation is because on the negative side when you put the positive against the negative if there's any bit of the casing touching that uh, it'll start shorten out and that's what happened to one of this I said man why is this thing getting warm I had to take it apart and that's what it was so anyway we resolve that problem I'm gonna clean that up a little bit I got a little goo on it there but anyway yeah so we have one complete we got 
three more to do to put together before we can actually start assembling it. But I'll get my meter here so you can see <coughs> the voltage here. So let me get my meter here. Uh, let's see here. I think you can read it right there. And we'll get the, um, this is the negative. So we should have 2.4, but like I said, since it's not loaded, it's gonna be probably about around 2.6. And you can see it's not quite 2.584, so not quite 2.6, so we're good. So yeah, so we have one cell, it's complete. This gives a little bit, that's fine. When we get all the cells together, they'll be attached, to, they'll be tied to each other uh, when we get this thing all wrapped up here. So. Anyway, yeah, so we have three more of these to put together, and then we can start the laborious task of running all the proper end pieces to whatever it's supposed to go to and putting the components back on there. So uh, we're going to continue on this here, and I'll be back when I get the rest of the three put together. And also, um, I found out when you're soldering up these cells you want just enough here so if it's folded back it doesn't stick out beyond the edge of the uh, battery there otherwise uh, you put tape on it it's liable to, to short out because everything is such a tight fit in this case here. there's not a whole lot of room to for uh, to move it around in there but that's the uh, positive one there you can see right there just a little I put electrical tape here just to protect it while I solder it and that's a little lug that I'm going to solder because I cut it used to be this long here and I cut it here and this is the negative side this is the negative side right there so we're going to solder these together and uh, so basically they're going to go like that and then when it's soldered I push them together as much as I can and I put it in the case just to make sure it still fits in the case and then I'll reapply smaller pieces of this tape so it doesn't short out. And then, uh, then when I put it together, I'll put a little, just a, basically a loop around it with electrical tape just to hold hold everything together. So uh, I'm gonna, I've got two of them done. I've got this is my third one that I'm working on, and then we'll get the fourth one done here real soon too. Okay, so now we have all the cells tied together. So now each one of these is 2.4 volts. And as you see, they fit in the case here, which that's good because that's what I was doing is just test fitting them every time I did one. So basically, um, we soldered the uh, little tabs together. I snipped them off real tiny first, fluxed them up, bent them out, put a little solder on them, and pushed them back together as close as I get it. But before I did that, I put tape in between the uh, tab and the case of the battery so there's no short circuits. And these are all cool, so we know there's no shorts. I've already metered them. They all measure all the same. And so now what we're gonna do is we're going to start taking, um, we're, we're gonna start uh, taking these tabs and hooking them up to uh, each other, some of these batteries here. And then we're gonna start working on taking this stuff off and transferring it onto this one here. So we're just gonna take these out here for the time being. And uh, we're going to start working on this here, taking this, transferring some of the things over to these. So um, if you look at the old battery pack here, you have a minus terminal here, positive, positive, minus. And so that's the way that we have to have the cells arranged. So, the, so these two are tied together and uh, that forms the negative, that's tied into the negative side of the board there. And then on the opposite end, we have the reverse. We have a positive, we have a negative, a negative, and a positive. And uh, this battery does not attach to this one. This goes up to the board. So what we're gonna do on this one is we're gonna tie these together. So what we're gonna do is we will move this tang over here and we're gonna take all this uh, shrink off of it, solder it so that completes this circuit here. Now, 
since it's it's not going to short out because negative to positive, positive to negative to positive, so we're not going to short out here. So I'm going to do that here. Um, I'm going to do it off camera here. I'm going to play with it a little bit, but they got to be up real close to each other. Um, and we're going to start orienting our cells and soldering them up here. Okay, so you can see I've got this circuit board. Uh, it was on it was on this cell here in between these two here. So I took it off, and uh, you can see that there's some circuitry on the back of it there, and uh, there's also a cap in there, and there's a looks like a uh, there's a diode in there. Or it could be a transistor, I'm not sure. But anyway, um, so yeah, I'm just gonna, before I stick this down, I'm just gonna wash this up real quick here. But anyway, it's gonna go down on here, all right? And then uh, what's gonna happen then is this is going to attach to that terminal there only. This one is this cell, and it's gonna be in between the second and third, which this, component goes there which will go there and uh, so yeah so we're making progress here and I got this desoldered here because this will go on the very last cell on the uh, negative side there and uh, so we're slowly building our battery pack here so uh, I'll be back in a few we're gonna attach this I'll zoom in a little bit there so you can see a little closer there we're going to attach this we'll clean this up and we'll attach that onto there. Okay, so we've been working on it here for about the last couple hours, actually. Um, so anyway, we're in a process of incorporating the uh, the second and third cell together here. And um, I kind of transplanted some things. I've got this board all soldered onto here, on the first cell here. Let me uh, zoom in here a little bit. There we go. Let me, uh, Move this camera back just a little bit here so you can see there. There we go. So we're in the process of putting this um, non-resettable uh, thermal protector back on it. And uh, I'm just going to use the same components. They all check good. And um, it's going to go in here kind of like that. And that will go up there. And then, then we'll be ready to put that other thermal component on there. And we'll be getting close to wrapping this thing up. And I'm hoping that, uh, and I'm hoping that it works okay. Uh, we'll find out. And so far, no smoke yet, so that's good. So anyway, I'm just gonna do some more soldering here. And uh, we'll, we'll get uh, a little further along here and then I'll resume the video here. Okay guys, so we have it reassembled here. And we got everything soldered up. Uh, I do got to put just a few more pieces of tape on it. I was I was originally going to use shrink wrap, but actually the tape works better for what we're doing. And uh, but anyway, we are hooked up. I'm going to show you on the meter here. Get this up here. Hopefully you can see that there. So we're going to put uh, this is the negative battery terminal. This is the positive battery terminal, and we got 10.42 volts. So um, when it's under load, it'll drop down, but this is the proper current rating for it, and voltage rating, I should say. And uh, yeah, so uh, <clears throat> we're going to clean this up just a little bit more. We're going to put a few more pieces of tape to isolate it so we don't have any short circuits, because uh, boy, any short circuit on this thing, uh, you're going to have a meltdown. So. Anyway, I'll be back just in a minute, and then we're gonna, hopefully we can get it back in the case here. So be right back. Okay, I finally got it all back together. It's in the case, <clears throat> and uh, we'll do a voltage reading on it, but I've already tested it, it's already uh, working. So I'll show you, and uh, we're gonna get everything all untangled here. All right, there we go. And so, <clears throat> like I said, it's. 9.6 volts, but there's no load on it, so it's going to read a little bit more than that, as you know most batteries do. So we get 10.42, so we are functional. Now <clears throat> the th I did <laughs> I did have this together 
once before. I did a voltage reading. Oh, I was reading half voltage, so I knew a wire came off. And it came off one of those uh, thermal uh, protectors in there. So, what we are going to do now is we are going to stick it in. I'm going to put it in my parts machine. It does power up, and I want to see if it actually works inside the parts machine, the battery. Um, I know it's not going to blow it up but I uh, just want to see if it works. I don't have this quite snapped all the way down on this corner here. I'll, I'll have to stick my screwdriver in there and kind of wiggle it. Get, there's a little clip in there and get it in there. But other than that, it's, uh, it's on, guys. It is, it is complete. So uh, let me go get the uh, laptop and let's see what happens. Okay, so I got my, uh, and I got my parts machine here and uh, I don't have a hard drive in it, but I want to see if it powers up because when you plug the adapter, this still powers up. So let me uh, zoom out. And the speaker doesn't work on this thing very good either. Again, it's a it's a parts machine. Let me just uh, kind of bring it up just a little bit there. Okay. And. Uh, let me clean the contacts off because I kind of got these things all dirty here. Hold on just a second here. Because the contacts in this thing are is like pristine condition, so I just need to clean them up on this uh, contactor board here on the battery. Okay, all right. So let's uh, find out what happens here, okay? So we're going to stick the battery in here, turn it the right way first, hopefully it's slide, it, now it's a little, it's not quite compressed all the way here, hopefully I can get the battery in it here, there we go. <clears throat> okay, alright, well let's see if it works. Okay guys, um, yeah, I'm not sure why uh, this is not working. It's got voltage on it, and uh, I even tried it on my uh, other other uh, power. don't know why this isn't working. It's got voltage on it. Um, everything pans out okay, and it is making contact, as far as I can see, because I compared it to the other battery, and these are at the right height. The uh, pins aren't bent in here. They're where they should be because I compared it to my other one. And I'm not sure why it's not working. But we do have the uh, the full voltage on it. So I'm going to have to kind of delve into this a little deeper here and find out why it's not working. But it should be working because it is wired up correctly. I followed it exactly like the others. The, all the components are good. Because um, if, if one of the components are bad, I wouldn't have any voltage. So I'm not sure what the problem is. So I will have to work on that. So anyway guys, uh, we did rebuild the battery. Uh, it is uh, somewhat successful. We got all the cells in it. Um, I do have to get it to snap down a little bit better. It's just because the cells aren't as compact as the original one. So I have to kind of keep squishing it down. But I'm probably going to take this part again and just kind of play with it but anyway so yeah like i said uh this is my parts machine it didn't wreck it didn't boot up off the battery and i tried my other uh, 1400 cs the one that's like in perfect shape same thing so i know it's something to do with the battery here so i got to figure out what it is it's probably something really simple that's usually how it is but the cells do have a full charge on them so if you like the video please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And uh, also hit the subscribe button and hit the bell. 
I do appreciate that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.